One of the great things about India is this tremendous interest in education. People talk about it all the time. Most parents aspire for this for their children. And so I think it's a great foundation we have as a country. You know, in my experience growing up here, I think there's a lot of emphasis on spending time on the books and learning yeah. things academically. I think there's a lot of pressure to follow set lanes throughout your career. You know, you're in high school, you're thinking about college. A lot of times when I was younger, you know, people would say, you know, this person didn't get into this college or something, and that's the end of the road. I mean, life is so different from that. I, I get surprised people start preparing for IIT in their eighth grades. That's a bit shocking to me. You know, I get very surprised people come to IITs and immediately they are thinking about IAMs and so on. Uh, the U.S., for example, most students don't choose their majors till their final year. So people explore different things and find what they're really passionate about. The way I dealt with these things was try and feel what I really enjoy doing and pursue that. I would do what feels something like you like spending time on. I would use that as a yardstick and not feel the pressure to do what others are telling you to do. I've always wanted to work on computing, build computing products. The thing which still keeps me going is the desire to build products which will be used by billions of users and makes a difference for them. And that's what I've been focused on. I mean, it doesn't need to be even in engineering. There are many, many different ways. And you'll see this later in life. People do well from all walks of life. I think education needs to evolve and, and change just like with everything else. Getting into an elite institution doesn't guarantee success. It matters a lot, but it doesn't guarantee success. You know, I would like to see people value creativity, value experience of doing things, taking risks. It is important to be well-rounded. I would encourage people to try different things, take some risks, follow their passions a little bit more, enjoy what you're doing. And what matters most is loving what you're doing and trying to do well at it. So I think if you follow your heart and do what you like, you will always do much better. It's worthwhile taking risks and trying to do something you're really excited by. And if the first attempt you don't do it, you know, you can try again and, you know, things tend to work out in the long run. If you work on really difficult things, you're better off because you have no competition. Others aren't working on uh, that difficult problem. Even if you fail, you end up doing something great in the process. You want to aim high enough that you fail a few times. I think that's the natural part of the process. Setbacks actually don't matter. In Silicon Valley, part of the reason so many people start up a company is, you know, starting up a company and even having failed, you know, you can wear it like a badge of honor. And I think that's important. Culturally, risk is rewarded. So I think it's important to keep your hopes, keep your dreams and try to follow them. Most of how life plays out is up to you, not up to what happens uh, outside of you. And I think it's important to keep that in mind and take the long term view. Some point in your life, you have to work with people where you feel a bit insecure because that means you're working with people who are better than you and who are pushing you. If you actually feel very secure in what you do, it means you're doing something comfortable and you're not pushing yourself. There are many, many times I've felt working with people in a group, am I doing enough? Are these people seem much better than me and I think it's an inherent part of learning. And as a leader, you know, I think it's really important uh, to build organ organizations where people actually want to work together and you know, trusting them to do doing the right thing. And as a leader, it's less about trying to be successful and more about to make those people successful. I'm absolutely, you know, with full certainty convinced that India will be a global player in the digital economy and it'll be competitive with any country in the world. <laughs>